All right, guys, I get a, a lot of people online asking, how do you remove decals or stickers from personal watercraft, from boats, from cars? Uh, I'm on all kinds of different pages on Facebook, and I see this question come up at least twice a week. And there's a really simple solution for that. You don't want to sit here and pick and, and pull at the sticker or try to scrape the sticker. Or a lot of people say use uh, Goo Gone, and you know, all of those methods will work but you're gonna spend a lot of time doing that, using those methods. I'm gonna show you the method today on how to remove that using a 3M eraser wheel. These, uh, these wheels are about $30. They come with uh, one wheel and uh, I believe you call that a collet that it go into. <clears throat> and then just pop it right into your drill. And uh, in no time flat, you'll have this sticker off pretty simple. You don't want to use too much speed or you will leave kind of a, uh, I'd like to call it like a burnt haze to the finish. Uh, you want to keep it around, I don't know, 2000 RPM or so. See, I'm not going full blast on the, uh, on the throttle here, but you can see this sticker, all of it's just coming right off effortlessly. I'm using very minimal pressure on the drill, just enough pressure to kind of keep the drill from walking around and keep it where I want it. Kind of working back and forth. Okay, and when you're satisfied that you've gotten all the sticker off, now you've got this nice mess, and you can still see that there's a little bit of adhesive left on the hole. It's really easy to take off using just a little bit of acetone and a clean rag. Now one thing to remember after you do this, the acetone is going to strip off any sort of wax that you may have on your surface. So when you're finished with this, be sure to put a little bit of wax on it. And just like that, we're good. I missed a couple of small spots. So I'll go back with the, uh, with the eraser wheel again. But this ski is a 2003 ski, so uh, it's 17 years old. That sticker came off quite easily, and that took me, what, about a minute or so to take it off. These things, this is a brand new one. I've been working on this one for about four years now. You can see that how much it's, it's worn down. They will last a very long time. And if you come over here, I've already gotten the registration stickers off of here, cleaned it up. Again, 17 year old ski, does have its share of small nicks and bruises on it, but it's nice and clean, took me no time at all. Uh, you could use this method on uh, painted surfaces, such as a uh, car, truck, SUV. Uh, it's not gonna damage the paint at all, it's not gonna damage the, fit, the finish on the vehicle. However, however, if you're gonna use it on something like a bumper, I would advise against that. If you can take your finger and, and, and push in on it like you would a polyurethane bumper, 
that's going to be too much heat and you're going to actually kind of melt the bumper. So I would leave that to solid surfaces. Uh, I would be okay to use it on something like this because this is a harder plastic and you're not going to burn through the plastic. But if you can stick your finger and kind of get it to uh, kind of move a little bit, then you don't want to use it on that. So gel coat fiberglass, painted metals, that eraser wheel is going to save you a lot of time. Uh, I suggest picking one up, throw it in the toolbox. They're pretty cheap, about 30 bucks. What's your time worth? Thanks.